Hi. Uh, in this video I'll be drawing a fixture plate for my mill. Uh, this is just the uh, the cab. In future videos I will do uh, two other videos. I'll do uh, the cam and the actual machining. Um, but I'm going to start off with the uh, the cab. Uh, so I'm going to start off by going to the uh, top uh, view here and then I will go to sketch and go to a rectangle. I'm going to use a two-point rectangle. Uh, I will select my plane. Uh, that's what it's asking for here, the XY plane. Uh, once I select that, I will go to, I'm going to start at the origin point, or the 0, 0 in XY. Uh, this is a small fixture plate for small parts. Um, so uh, it's prompting for the uh, the X right now, so I will put in uh, six inches, and then for the uh, Y, I will put in three inches, and then hit that enter twice, and that will give me my uh, rectangle here. Uh, using either the the pan button or the uh, center scroll. Uh, pushing down the center scroll, I will uh, pan this into the center here. Um, <clears throat> and then over here, I will click on the, uh, the home button and will put me into uh, like a 3D view of it. Um, then from here, I will go to uh, actually, um, I'm going to uh, right click and press and select press pull and select the rectangle and then I'm going to you can either pull it up like this uh, till you get to your height there or you can just enter in the amount which is what I will do here I will this fixture plate is three quarters of an inch so you can either enter 0.75 or just type in uh, three quarter you can just type in the, the fraction there and hit enter uh, and there we have it. We have the, uh, the fixture plate right there. Okay, um, I'm going to go to the uh, top view again and rotate it if you have to, if it's in the wrong position there. Okay, um, the fixture plate is going to uh, look something like this one right here. Uh, it's going to have uh, bolts that bolt it down to a tooling plate, which is, uh, the tooling plate here is attached to the uh, the table of the mill, and this will go on to that, and the parts will be attached to various holes on here. Um, this basically enables you to just reference off this corner here and set it as uh, like a G55 or uh, one of the work offsets on there. Uh, so you can just put it in and not have to worry about referencing zero and all that stuff. So, uh, and you can just take parts in and out, uh, and uh, just keep hitting a cycle start. So, um, all right, we'll go back to the drawing over here. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is create some uh, reference lines um, that I'm going to use for. Uh, for the holes. Uh, so I'm going to go to sketch. You can either click sketch and, and then go and find it, but the the line command is actually right here. So you can just uh, select the line command and it's going to ask you for the plane again. Um, I will select here. This plane is actually on the, the top of the object, so I will select that and then pan this back into the middle. Um, so now I'm going to the, we're going to start off with the two larger holes that mount it to the, uh, to the tooling plate. So I will just, uh, select a center, uh, that triangle mark means it's in the center of this line. So I'll select there and, uh, here, and that will give me my center mark for there. Um, uh, now I'm going to go with a center mark here and here 
and then I'm going to right click and then uh, cancel. Um, so now the next thing I'm going to have to do is um, offset this center line uh, to find the, um, the the centers of where the where the tooling plate is. So I have this tooling plate. So I have to find these. I know that these are 1.625 apart. Uh, but first, I'm going to have to uh, offset half and half uh, to mark those two, and then offset from there to there uh, to make those two. So. Okay, so uh, to offset, so I'm now I can either go to the sketch command and offset here, or I could uh, right click, go to sketch, and select offset there. Uh, then I'm going to select this line and then go in the direction that I want it to offset. Uh, so in my particular case for this plate, I'm going to enter a point eight one two. 5.8125 and then do the same thing. I can right click and repeat offset and do the same thing uh, 0.8125 and then hit enter and then repeat offset and go to this distance, go this direction uh, 1.625 enter and repeat offset and 1.625 again. Okay, so now that basically gives me the lines that I need. Uh, actually, I just need this intersection and this intersection uh, to make the holes uh, for, the, for the tooling plate. Uh, to, to bolt through into the tooling plate. So, all right. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, stop the sketch, and I'm going to go over to, to the tree over here and select the sketches. And uh, sketch one was the bottom sketch uh, where we made this, the rectangle out of. We made the rectangle and made it a solid. Uh, the second sketch is... Uh, all these lines right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and I'm going to rename that to uh, top lines. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch and create a new sketch and I'm going to select the same plane And you can see I have a new sketch right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to uh, top holes or mounting holes. Mounting holes. And then I'm going to um, make the circles for these, uh, for the mounting holes. So I'm going to go to sketch, uh, circle, center diameter circle, and select the center of the, the center mark there. And um, the, the through hole is going to be a uh, half an inch. So I'll enter 0 0.5, uh, enter and enter. And then I'll right click, repeat, uh, select the center again. Uh, the, uh, the countersink hole where the bolt head, the cap head screw is going to go. Um, that is 0.8 for the, the screws that I'm using, the bolts I'm using. And then I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side here. 0.5, enter, enter, repeat, center, 0.8, Enter, enter. Okay, so we now have uh, the holes that we need in order to make these. Um, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the home position over here to put us into 3D again. Okay, um, so now we just need to uh, uh, make the holes here, um, but I need to get some of these extra lines out of the way. Um, now, since we did the, uh, since I did uh, a different layer uh, for the t top lines there, all I have to do is select the uh, the light bulb here, and all those will disappear. Um, these extra lines uh, you can just delete. Uh, if even if you turn this back on, those lines are still there. So I'm not sure exactly what those are, but. Um, and um, we will stop the sketch because we're done with sketching. Um, so now what we need to do is uh, drill these holes down. Uh, so we're going to go with, uh, to, to make the holes we're going to go right click and click uh, press pull and select the two inner smaller circles. Uh, those are going to go all the way through. So all I have to do is grab this arrow and drag it all the way down, more than enough to go all the way through, and just hit enter. Uh, and now those holes are drilled all the way through. You can go to the top and see that they're all the way through. Go back to home. Um, so as you, but as you notice, the uh, the rest of the the, the other circle. Uh, went away. That actually turned off. So if you go back to the mounting holes, you can just turn back, that back on and you have that circle again. Um, so I'm going to repeat the press pull and select these two faces right here. Oops. Somehow I got fillet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to press pull and select that face and that face there and pull that down. Um, for what I'm doing, um, I need uh, 3 eighths of an inch uh, for the uh, for the bolt head. Uh, for the it's actually a shoulder bolt. Uh, it aligns it uh, in addition to holding it down. Um, so it has to be uh, the right height based off of the, the thickness of the, the length of the shoulder part of the shoulder bolt. Um, in my case, this is uh, 3 eighths, so I'm just going to type 3 eighths. Oh, sorry. I'm going down, so negative 3 eighths. And hit enter. And now we have those two holes. They can turn off uh, that part of the sketch and collapse that. Um, and you can pan this around. Um, if you hit uh, shift and the center scroll button push that down, uh, you can uh, turn that around so you can see how it looks. Um, okay. I'll go back to the home position there. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is make a couple of holes that I'm going to use to actually hold the uh, the workpiece down. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the top position and rotate that and bring that in a little bit. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, sketch and I'm going to select this plane again and I'll name this sketch um, uh, uh, screw lines screw lines okay um, bring this back in. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make uh, some center lines and some offsets. Um, 
Uh, so I'll go to sketch and line and another center line across here and another center line across here and I will uh, cancel that um, and then I'm going to offset this so I'm going to right click sketch offset and I will offset this line this way uh, what I need is two inches between the two holes I'm uh, sorry one inch in between the two holes but centered so I'm going to go 0.5 that way and then repeat offset and the same thing this way uh, 0.5 okay and those are those uh, marks so I have my crosshairs are my marks uh, for the two holes for bolting down the uh, the work uh, and I'm going to go uh, stop sketch and then I'm going to go create a new sketch on the same plane and I will call this uh, screw holes screw holes okay and then I will go to uh, sketch circles center diameter uh, these holes are going to be uh, quarter 20 holes so we're going to want a quarter inch hole so we go 0.25 enter enter and repeat click there 0.25 enter enter all right so I have those two holes right there uh, so the next thing I need to do is uh, uh, drill those two holes or make holes in them uh, so I'm going to go to the uh, home view here and I'm going to turn off the screw lines and delete these two lines here All right. and now I'm finished with sketching so I can uh, stop the sketch and I'm going to right click and go to press pull again and select these two lines right here and they're going to go all the way through so I'm just going to pull it down and hit enter and now you can see we have holds all the way through. Okay, go back to home view. Um, and we are finished with the sketches so we can collapse this right here. Um, the next thing I need to do is uh, tap holes. Um, so basically I will go to the create um, tab there and go down to thread and select the first hole. It doesn't seem to let you do multiple holes at the same time, so um, uh, based on the size of the hole it automatically uh, tells you what kind of threads you might want to use. Uh, I'm doing a quarter 20, so I'll select quarter 20 and the class is like how tight you want the threads to be. Uh, I'll just put 2B. If you want it to remember this part right here uh, the design, the quarter 20 or whatever, uh, you can just select here. It won't remember this, but and click OK. And as you can see there, we have our threads. All right, so I just need to repeat that for the next one there. Uh, right click, repeat thread, select that. And it remembered that. I just change this to 2B and click enter and there it is um, the uh, in the next video I'll be doing the cam uh, giving going over the different operations to make all these holes in there um, which will be uh, two center drills here and then two um, I believe it's like a number seven drill um, for those prior to tapping and probably like a 3 8 
and mill uh, circular uh, milling there. And then the third video, I will be doing the actual machining. All right, uh, that's it.